Okay, here it is running. You can see the bucket is going down. Get the airlock out of it, make sure that's good. You hear that sound. Now everything's going right into the boiler. But you have to have packing on all these joints. On it. Make sure it's not sucking air. And I'm at 100 pounds of pressure. And it's one of my 20 inch boilers. So the key to it is, is to not have the bucket down too low either. Because it makes it harder for the pump to pump it up from like on the floor. So you've got to have your water level up pretty high for it to work. And look at how much water has gone down in the bucket. It was right up to the rim, top of it, when I started. And of course it's gone way up in the pipe glass. You don't usually want to put that much water in. I'm just showing this the way it can work. Now this pump doesn't have a switch on it. None of them do. So you just have to plug it in. There might be a switch on the market for it too. You might look around for that. So having that bucket up high helps a lot too. That's about it. If you want to call me, my name is Ross. 206-948-0770. And I used to use hand pumps, and boy, it was a lot of work keeping up with the boiler and the amount of water that the engines were using. And uh, so this really simplifies it. And anybody living off grid that wants to use this, obviously they're making gener uh, generating electricity, and so they're going to have AC, uh, you know, through an inverter develop uh, DC power and then transfer it over to AC and so you do have electric power to run this pump. My email address is anacortesteam at gmail.com A-N-A-C-O-R-T-E-S-S-T-E-A-M anacortesteam at gmail.com and my phone number is 206 948 0770.